Are you trying to get more power on your serve and more consistency on your serve and you're serving like this and it just doesn't seem to work out? It gets flatter and flatter and you just don't know what to do? Well watch this video because I'm going to show you why it's not working out and a couple suggestions you can make to start improving your power and consistency. Because if you can improve your power and consistency on your serve, you can start winning more free points on your serve which means you can start winning more matches. So let's get started. You're probably wondering, Kevin, what are you talking about? Like those serves look like right. Maybe they don't have enough spin and consistency, but that might look like my serve. Well, one of the biggest issues is that we're not creating enough spin to have consistency. But you're saying, but you said spin and power. Well, if we have a bigger serve, we actually want to put a little spin on it. I think a lot of, or one big misconception about a serve is that it's completely flat. So when we see the pros walk up to the line and just absolutely annihilate the ball, we're like, oh, wouldn't it be so great? That means I just need to hit the ball flatter. But when we go out to the court just like this and try it, and we try to hit the ball flat, the thing just flies everywhere. You get one that might go in out of 10, but then you're like, how do they do that? It must be that they're so good that I'll never accomplish that. Eh, wrong answer. What's happening is even on their flat big serves and their second serves, they're creating spin. And to create the spin, what they're doing is very similar to what you probably do on a ground stroke. So let's think about this for a second. How do you create spin on a ground stroke? Well, you just go low to high, right? We brush the ball. And I love this example because I think it's really, really clear here. And I'm going to show you an example of what I mean. So if I hit a backhand with top spin, just like this, what am I doing? I'm brushing the ball, coming up on the ball. But what I want you to do now is just watch the motion. And so this motion is coming here. Okay, I'm brushing and coming up. Now, I will say this because as I move towards what we're going to talk about, you might get this confused with a kick. I'm not. I'm just getting you to understand the idea of spin. And so what I mean by this is if I do this motion here, but then I take the motion, keep going, but I take it above my head, look what just happened. This is the same motion that was happening down here that is now happening this way. And this is the secret to how pros create power and consistency on their serve, meaning that they have a choice between how flat and how either consistent or spinning they hit their serve, and you will too. The big mistake though that a lot of recreational players make is when they're serving, they serve like this, okay? And so you see this action here, and, uh, ooh, went in, it went in. <laughs> oh, it didn't go in. And yes, I can make some of those probably more, but I want you to have a bigger and more consistent serve. And so the key to this is moving your elbow position. And so you saw in these serves, a lot of times my elbow was on this side of my body or even right behind. And maybe right behind you can pull it off, but it's not going to be super consistent. But what you see the pros doing is getting into this position, where as a right-handed player, my elbows behind my body here allows me now to create this brushing action. Same action here is happening here can only happen generally if the elbows here to allow you to drop and go this way. If you do this, what's going to happen? It's very hard to get that left to right action. So it's going to come out being a little bit not as consistent because we can't create the spin. And by fixing and making sure you get to this position, now you can start going left to right. Now when we talk about left to right, there's different degrees of it. There could be, let's say when I'm going left to right like this, uh, I'm creating a lot of spin. Uh, and you can see how I can just do this and I can do, probably do it all day. It's not a big deal. But if you want to add more power to your serve, now what that means is what we want to do is pronate earlier and not add as much left to right. And so when I hit a serve like this, what you'll see is I'll still do left to right and I'll come up, brush the ball a little bit and then pronate more. You can see pros like Roger Federer, like Roundish doing the exact same thing. The difference between let's say their kick serve or second serve is that you see a lot more left to right action coming up and across the ball or up up on the ball to get a kick serve. When you see the first serve, what do you see? Less left to right action as a right handed player, but you still see enough to get a little bit of spin and you see more pronation. You see this key marker of the racket going through here. So what does this mean for you and what are you going to do? Well, this is why I'm going to show you some drills to really make sure and things you can change to really help you achieve this left to right action first and then how you can start adding more pronation. Because when you start going pronation and left to right, ah. Uh, I can hit that and you can see how it didn't take that much effort and it could be very consistent because I don't even feel like that's really pushing it and I can still probably create more pace or more safety depending on how much either left or right or left or right and pronation that I create. So let's get started on the drills. So the very first thing I want you to understand is that to achieve this position you see a lot of players stand like this. Now you can achieve a left or right action 
just like this, but what you're gonna have to do is rotate. And this is so important that you understand this, because I see this and I think this is a big mistake. That a lot of players, to get their elbow back, what they're doing is going, Ugh, uh, they're pushing this elbow back and it's so uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't even know how you do it. So what I want you to think of, if I'm gonna have this left right action, I have a stance like this, what I'm gonna do is, as I get my arm up just like this, all I'm gonna do is rotate my hips. And you see this is a key marker action that a lot of pros are doing. They're going from here, rotate. It's not that I'm going from here, arm back, it's that I'm going here, rotate. So really simply, you can get your arms up like you're like flexing those guns, yep, flexing those guns just like that. And from here, all I wanna do is move my hip back. So my belly button's facing back towards the back corner. So here's my belly button facing sideways, and it's going towards the back corner. This is the very first drill I want you to try, where if I'm here, boom. And if we combine this, start going here, here. And so you can see how now, you can see how my rack is positioned on the left side, or sorry, yeah, on the left side, getting confused here, on the left side of the ball, allowing me to brush. That's one way of doing it, and it's a great drill just to work on rotation this way. Another way is actually to adjust your stance. And I think this is, kind of what I recommend to a lot of people, is to adjust your stance and combine the rotation. And so you can see how my feet are very, almost straight onto the court. If I adjust my stance this way, it already puts me, even when I get my arm up, into this left to right action. There's not a lot of coil required. And so if I go from here and now add a little coil, you can see how I can really achieve a great left to right action. And so when I'm in this position here, you can see how I missed that, so what do I need to do? I need to add a little bit more spin. Oh, that's a little racket face. But I need to add a little bit more spin like I did on the second serve. And so, by adjusting your feet, and what I mean by this, my first stance was here. My second stance has my foot pointing a little bit more off to the side, like if you had a court next to you, it's almost pointing to the net strap of the second court compared to the front post here. And so now, and then with my, uh, my uh, back foot, you can see it almost lining up with the back of my heel here. And this automatically puts me in left right. So even if I don't have a big uh, hip turn here, you can see how I can get a lot of spin and speed on it. So I have to do this because I know I'm in here in the comments. It's like, Kevin, that serve was out. So just in case you're wondering, yes. Oh no, no. Oh, I need my rest of my body. <laughs> there we go. I can hit the serve in because I know that'll be a comment. But the key here is making sure you position yourself that you allow your elbow to be behind that allows it to brush, okay? That's the first thing. So for either one of those, you're either gonna start here and make sure you're rotating, or you're gonna start here and just make sure you're rotating. Now, really important as a drill, just go anywhere with your racket, without your racket, and practice making sure that you get to this position and just check. You check that the ball's on this side of the racket compared to, I see a lot of players and they're like this, okay? And you see some pros kind of like this, but what you'll see is they'll rotate to get this position to go around. And this will add so much more consistency on your swing path, they'll add in that consistency. Now, now we need to talk about how to hit it harder. Now, one key to this is creating pronation because pronation is gonna basically take the racket and send it through the ball. You have two different paths through the ball. You have this path, which is what we've been talking about here, where the racket edge is falling this way. And if we just do that path, left to right, oh, oh, you hear hopefully a lot of spin. We have another path, which could be the racket going forward. Now, this is where I think a lot of players make mistakes, where they're like, okay, I wanna hit the ball harder, but I need spin. What do I do? I have to choose one or the other. Well, you don't have to choose one or the other. You can choose both. And so the mistake is they're swinging straight through. And so straight through, it's just flat. Actually, I had a tiny bit of spin on it, but it's very, very flat for a lot of players. To get the most out of your serve, what you wanna do is do the second part, which is instead of just swing this way, what we're gonna do is take our forearm and our shoulder and simply do this, okay, while doing the first one. But you can see already, if I just do this action, see how hard the ball goes. Not a lot of spin on that. But if we do both at the same time, or time it where we brush, then do it, what's gonna happen is as we're brushing the ball, we're sending the racket forward. So now we're brushing and sending versus just brushing and then maybe sending afterward. And so the earlier we pronate, the more oh, oh, you start getting more pop on the ball because 
you're brushing and setting and that's how you can have the consistency and the power in your serve. Now, you probably wanna know what's a drill to do that because that seems kinda of awkward and hard. And so the drill I want you to do is first start just with your arm like this and pull the racket down. That's the first motion. So we'll do this a couple times and just make sure you're pulling from your shoulders. Sometimes I see people doing this and it's like they're shoving down. It's like you have a hammer and you're pulling down from your tricep and a little bit of the shoulder. Tricep, shoulder. The second part is to add in the internal rotation of our shoulder and our forearm. So it would be like this. Another way of thinking about it is taking your thumb, don't move your wrist, move your entire shoulder down, okay? And so you have this action and then you combine it. So you go here, here. Now, the big, I guess, issue or problem that a lot of play players have when they do this is they start pronating too early, okay? And this is one of those things where you're like, how the heck am I supposed to hit the ball like that? If you're finding that you're pronating early and this is what'll happen, it's like, oh, whoa, I tried to pronate and that's what happened, the ball flies off, is because at contact, what you're doing is sending your rackets forward so early that you're actually changing the racket face. And so what we wanna do is when I'm brushing, I'm brushing and right as I'm about to make contact, I start sending that racket forward. But the key is making sure the racket face is facing where we want. So now what I would wanna do with that motion is I wanna take that motion and put it on top of the fridge. This is the kind of imaginary fridge I have. And so what I'm gonna do is use that motion of going brush and then lay it on top of the fridge. Brush and then lay it on top of the fridge and do the exact same drill here. Brush. Okay, brush, okay, brush, okay. And you can see how right now it's combining both of the things of brushing, there we go, brushing, okay, and brushing, there we go. Then what we can start doing is incorporate it with your tire motion. Meaning that now I'm gonna go left to right and I'm adding in the pronation, left to right. Okay, so I need a little bit more. Okay, and you can see how consistent serving. And I can go bigger or I can pull it back, but I always have the option of doing one or the other. I'm never stuck going, I can either be really consistent or go for it and hope that it goes in. I can incrementally work my way up. Now, one more thing you need to really take your serve to the next level, which is understanding how to use your legs. Because really, yes, you can get a ton of power using your internal rotation and pronating, but man, when you start to learn to use your legs, and that's kind of ignites the whole thing and launches everything up in the right order, Woo, you can take your serve to the next level. And that's what the pros are doing. And so the first thing you need to understand about using your legs is watching this video right here.